Hi, I'm Dr. Ashley Bitkowski from the Canyon Center for Character Education at the College of Education within Grand Canyon University. Today I'm going to tell you a book about a book called A Bad Case of the Stripes by David Shannon. This book is appropriate for grades K through five, and it is also a great book to teach about the courage to be yourself. So this is Camila Cream on the front cover. She loves lima beans but she's afraid to admit that because all of her friends hate lima beans and she uh, wants to fit in. Well, today's the first day of school and she cannot figure out which outfit she wants to wear because again, she wants to fit in. When she looks into the mirror, she realizes she has striped skin. She's incredibly worried about this. She screams and her mother comes in and says, oh no, you're not going to school today. Please get in bed. And she calls a multitude of doctors and specialists to come over. And every time that Camila eats something or wears something, it changes changes her skin to match that. It happens over and over again with the different pills that she takes, the different clothes that she puts on, and eventually she finds herself on a new story. She becomes her whole bedroom, and many people suggest trying different things to change, and she's incredibly worried till a lovely old lady knocks on the door and asks if she can speak to Camila. The mother lets her in and the lady says, oh no, it's a bad case of the stripes, the worst I've ever seen. And she offers to give her some green beans. Camila says, no, thank you. I don't like green beans. And the lady kindly has a conversation with her and tells her it's okay if she does, but she'll go ahead and just go. And as the lady's walking away, Camila Cream says, wait, I must admit, I love lima beans. And so she eats them. At this point, Camila has turned into her entire bedroom. So actually her mouth is her bed and the lady feeds the lima beans to her, and Camila turns back into herself. And what she realizes throughout the book is that it's okay to be yourself, no matter what that is. It's okay if others don't like who you are. It's okay to be yourself. Um, and so she returns to school, and she keeps her striped little bow in her hair, and she eats her lima beans without hesitation. So what you can use this book for is to teach students about the courage to be yourself, about kindness and acceptance, and tolerance of others, regardless of their differences. You can even use it to talk about celebration of differences. This is a great book to use in the beginning of the school year, so you can teach about that acceptance of others and differences. As students enter the school year with a new class, they may be hesitant to admit the things that they like or don't like, or they may be judging others. Um, but you could also use this book as you see instances of bullying or disrespect. Um, and you can also use this book to teach sequencing or text features as they start to think about the different things that she turns into. They can make connections to themselves or a time that they felt that they were around others that they weren't respected or maybe that they disrespected other people and didn't accept the things about them. So there's a plethora of things you can use this book for, but it's absolutely lovely. My daughter who is six now, we read this book two years ago and she still loves it. So um, I hope you enjoy The Bad Case of the Stripes by David Shannon. Thank you so much. Hope so.